I'm John Goldsmith, and welcome to Capital Edition. You know what would be a great idea? Donut-flavored coffee. Oh, the taste sensation without the calories. How about tobacco-flavored coffee for those who have quit smoking but really miss that after-dinner cigarette? Ridiculous ideas? You betcha. But people have made a fortune with nuttier notions if they happen to become a fad. Take Washingtonian Ken Hakuda, for instance. He saw the handwriting on the wall that people would love to throw these things against a wall. You know, I mean, but somehow everybody has to have it. It's the in thing to do. What even wonders happen here? I forgot to left the oven on. We'll be meeting Betty Green, mother, housewife, and a lady who redefines the phrase down home cooking. When Betty picks up her bass guitar, she's the live wire leader of Mother's Band and Show, jamming for charity and dreaming of the big time. We are now going to meet your typical homemaker who happens to live in Washington. You know the routine, husband, kids, chores around the house. If there's anything that separates this particular woman from a million others, it's her style of cooking. For instance, the entire family is justifiably proud of mother's homemade jam. Well, I guess I go ahead and sweep down the booms porch like I usually do. Everything out is swing to the rail. It's his. I tell you, it's really something being a mother. Trying to do the housework and the cooking and sweeping. Woo! If Betty Green seems to be putting on a performance, playing the motherly role to the hill, there's a reason for that. A while back, you see, she decided to expand her family in a rather novel fashion and gave a whole new meaning to the word mother as she began really cooking down in the basement. Partying in mother's house has become a way of life for this 45-year-old grandmother to be the founder, matriarch, and lead bass guitar player of Mother's Band and Show. It all began innocently enough back when a health problem forced Betty's retirement from the government. Looking for something to do, she started taking music lessons with her three children. At first, it just fell under the heading, the family that plays together stays together. But as we practiced every Saturday and all, they saw that I was getting serious. They just couldn't believe it. And my husband, he, he, he thought I had lost my mind. He didn't know. He had always told me to get involved with something, you know, after I had to come home. But uh, he never thought that I would organize a band or play a bass guitar. And I didn't either. That was nine years ago, back when they played their first gig at a neighbor's New Year's Eve party. Today, there are 11 musicians in Mother's family, all of them required to follow her strict house rules. I want to know if they belong to a church, and I want to know if they have a job, because a job is very important to come into this band. They have to have a job, and uh, I like to know if they're clean, you know. I check on them, because uh, Mother's band, uh, we, we project an image out there, and I can't just take in a 
musician just because he plays an instrument. I have to know something about him, and he has to more or less fit within the family group. Aside from two of her children, Vonnie on trumpet and Robin, the lead female vocalist, Mother's family group includes a host of experienced musicians. Willie Jolly, for one, lists among his credits being a CBS recording artist. He concedes, at first, he was less than wildly enthusiastic about joining the band. I took her seriously, but it was a little hard to grasp. She had this grandmother who plays the bass, and her family, and they kind of did it as a hobby, and I was doing it as a living, initially. I had some reservations, but they were completely erased by the time that I met her. Because once we got a chance to talk and I understood what kind of concept she had. A concept that has brought Betty Green and family a bundle of awards, citations, and thank yous. Because they've been riding the charity bandwagon ever since the beginning performing in prisons, hospitals, and nursing homes, and with benefit concerts raising tens of thousands of dollars for a variety of causes, one of which has not been Mother's Band and Show. Until recently, not even to the point of covering expenses, has Betty believed charity begins at home. No, I've never felt that way, that I want to keep the money for myself. But I've gone to the point so far right now I'm letting the people know that at least they have to pay my expenses. You know, if they pay my expenses there, then we'll be there. But myself and the family, we, we never receive any money for doing this, but my band do. You know, whatever expense money they give me, I pay it out to the professional musicians. I always told Betty when I first came to the band, look, money is no object. You know, I'm not pressed about money. If I can just get up on stage, do my best in your performance, get you cranked up, get the crowd cranked up, I'm satisfied. Pay me if you want. I don't care. I'm going to help move the equipment. I'm going to sing. I'm going to play. And I'm always going to be with you until you reach the top or until you put me out of the band. That's what I told her from jump. And that's the way it's been ever since. Ty Campbell is a guitarist, vocalist, and the band's arranger. Well, she basically does a lot of benefit performances, right, where she won't get enough to pay each and every band member. When she gets a small amount, I tell her, Betty, don't pay me. That family spirit keeps them going, even if their bandwagons sometimes seem to be bound for that great junkyard in the sky, as they arrive for still another benefit, this one for a church roofing fund. Husband Ralph helps stage the concerts, and the Greens regularly dip into their household budget to maintain equipment and wardrobe and, when all else fails, pay something to the dedicated professionals in the family. When they play one engagement with me, I have no problem. They never leave. All of them just play one engagement and they always stay. I have no problem. It is now showtime. The mother. For those of you that know the words, and need a little bit of inspiration this evening, hallelujah. The words are just so simple. And if you want to sing along, feel free. The word says, Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. Jesus and when Jesus my sins away. It's a mission that I'm doing. It's not just something I'm doing to be doing. It's a mission that God wants me to do. Of course, Betty wouldn't mind it if God sent them an angel offering a recording contract, a music video, and a national tour. But if any angels are listening, be forewarned. Mother's band and show will need time off from Vegas now and then to play the prisons, the nursing homes, and church benefits. Whoever takes us over has to, has to understand that I'm not going to give up still going back to Lorton and places like that. I'm not going to give that up. One more time, one more time. And uh, that's how it goes. I just can't. 
I don't want to ever get too big that I'm going to forget where I came from, you know. I'm always going back there to those places. Senior citizens and all I enjoy performing for, you know. So that person with that contract would have to understand where Betty Green is coming from. You like that? Oh, oh. Right. The mother. The mother. The mother. Give it up. The mother on bass guitar. The one and only. Mother. All right.